Here's the fish tower filled up to the top. The table is not straight, that's why this is not straight, but this has been measured to be perfectly straight. So when you measure your fish tank, measure to the rim, then we subtract three inches and it goes two more down, so it goes down five inches below the water line. Now if you have some media down here, you me measure from the top of the media to the rim, and that's the height of your tank. We take away three inches and it goes down two more, so it's five inches below the water line, which should be perfect for evaporate. You know, for evaporation, you'll still be able to uh, put more. Uh, it won't go down below the five inches. You make sure if it goes three or four, that you fill it up when it evaporates. Okay, this fish tower can go in any size fish tank from 10 gallons up. And you can get it with the pedestal, the base and the tower, or just the, just the tower and put it on rocks if you have rocks that are even. Or you can get the entire fish tank which is about this much bigger and you get a lid on it and it looks really neat and nice. This you'd have to make up your own kind of lid and however you wanted to do it. So this is the fish tower. We have them at fishtower.net. We build them for you. We can also build it bigger if you want it. We can build a bigger tank if you want it, whatever you want. You have to email me or call me, best to email me at mrroth88, M-R-R-O-T-H, 88 at gmail.com. And by the way, when you're going to remove your fish tower, if you're ever going to do that, you need to take water out of the tank, about half of the water out of the tank, so that when you pull this up, the water goes in the tank and not all over yourself and on the floor. Okay, thank you very much.